Having discussed some of the special halachot about uh, what we do and what we do not do on Shabbat, halachot that are not necessarily about isurin, prohibitions, but halachot which originally were intended to make Shabbat more special, more, um, more Shabbat, even for people who are not who are not so concerned generally about the fine-tuning of the halacha. So the first thing I want to mention is the psukim, from which these halachot are derived. In Yeshayahu, Perak Nun Chet 58, psukim 13 and 14. I'm going to read the psukim and try to translate them, uh, which is not always an easy thing, and then we'll understand uh, what the Chachamim, why the Chachamim thought that these Psukim were so important. Im Tashiv Mi Shabbat Raglecha. He says, if you don't use your foot, your feet, unnecessarily, I guess, because of the Shabbat. Asot Chafat Secha Biyom Kachi. And you don't pursue your your business your enterprise on the on my holy day Hashem says Vikarata la Shabbat Onik and uh, Shabbat becomes something special a special kind of delight Likidosh Hashem Mechubad the holy day of Hashem Mechubad Honored or honorable. Vichibadito measot dirachecha. And you give it honor this day of Shabbat. Not doing thy own ways. Not, in other words, you give honor to the Shabbat by differentiating it, making it special. Mimitso chefzecha ve daber davar. Uh, not doing any kind of business or any kind of enterprise. Vidaber uh, davar, not speaking of vain matters that have to do with, that don't have anything to do with Shabbat. As titanegal Hashem, then, and only then, Shall you delight with the Lord, with Hashem? Ve'erkavticha al bamate aretz, and I will uh, place you above the high places. You'll ride on the high places of the world. Ve'chalticha nachalat Yaakov avicha, and I will feed you uh, with the. Uh, the inheritance of Yaakov, our father, ki pi Hashem diber, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So these psukim, these psukim indicate to Chazal that there was something extra, that there was a value added to Shabbat. And it wasn't just the malachot, those 39 basic prohibitions, which of course yield generations of prohibitions, but in fact, that there was something else, something beyond that. and daber davar, that you can't do business or you can't be enterprising in a way that would make Shabbat into a regular day even if there is no particular prohibition of Shabbat that you are denying. Don't talk on Shabbat like you talk on other days. And be warned when you go to shul and talk about the things that bother you all week long. Well, that's called Those are the people, I mean, there are two two. Uh, 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 Two, op- two things that have to be considered in shul on Shabbat. One, you have to daven. 
and davening and talking don't seem to me to be quite the same thing. But there's another matter. The content of the talking, daber davar, the Navi says, don't talk if it's not about matters concerning Shabbat. Don't talk about the weekday, because then you are in effect in that weekday. 